if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Photographic memory. Oh. <laughs> so that... Oh, I would love that too. <laughs> yeah. I would love that too. So that I can just one look. Okay, next speech. What was the hardest module you've ever had to teach and why? Hardest module? You always teach the harder modules, I realise. Uh, it depends at various years. If I were to say year one, I think year one is... I think year one year is okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it starts from year two. We have pharmacology, especially the one that is leaning towards immunology. Mm. We also have genetics. That one, oh, I yeah. have a lot of people who don't like that. <gasps> I I'm like so it sorry. though. <laughs> I, I like the yes. molecular um, genetics. Yeah, I yeah, mean it's, it's interesting with all the diseases and all that. Uh, but I guess it's a lot of heavy content. Oh, the final exam, I think, killed a lot of students. Yes, yeah. yes. <sighs> yeah, I thought like when I was in year one and I saw the modules, I'm like, oh, okay, it's gonna be okay. And then once... <laughs> <laughs> and then once I reach Gen 2, the final exam, I'm like, oh, this is not it. Yeah, but I think we prepare the students well. Like, you know, yeah. we have... Um, the practice papers. Correct. We have many different small, um, not so challenging type of assessments. You have quizzes and all that to build you throughout the foundation before you actually go for the more heavy-weighted assessment, which is your exam. Mm. And we get a lot of warnings from lecturers say it's going to be hard. Out of all the modules that you've learned here, because you're already in year 3, right? Which one did you enjoy the most and why? Uh, actually, two modules. One okay. is the, the MIC1 PIE, the uh, infectious diseases. The infections, pandemic and uh, epidemics. Yes. Yep. And then the other one is Gen 2, the oh, one that you teach. <laughs> okay. I actually, I like DNA. Mm. Um, it's so interesting how complicated DNA is, yeah. right? We still don't know a lot of things about the DNA mm. and and how um, like certain mutations can yep. lead to like human diseases. Okay. And also because you, you teach the... Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Do you get annoyed by like some students? Um, there are, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the ones who come up and ask uh, about things that we have already discussed before, like I've already given them the instructions, I've already given them the deck of slides, so you can always refer back to it. But then, you know, there are always people who comes back to you and say, hey, what was this again? Can you tell it, tell it to me again? If we have a pandemic that breaks out again, like our COVID-19, but not really COVID-19, mm -hmm. how would you use your scientific skills to survive? I learned the importance of like social distancing, um, so definitely, I mm. will first like follow the policy of like wearing a mask, staying mm. away from people who mm. are like sick mm. or something. Let's say if the situa situation is so bad that it became like an apocalypse, then maybe I can like make my own vaccine. Mm. Yeah, why not, right? Maybe yeah. you should consider like having a shotgun with the vaccine inside oh, and yes. shoot it at. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard was it to do a doctorate? <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, I think the scale 10 is not even measurable by numbers. I oh. think it's a, it's a matter of pushing through, having perseverance. If somebody were to ask me whether I would recommend them doing it, I would say no. Unless you're absolutely sure that you are committed to, you know, failing and then getting up, failing and getting up all over again. It's a cycle. Oh, yeah. It means you're always like demoralised by it. Yes, it is. Um, I had a friend who asked, okay, um, when you first started out at my first year, what was your passion level? I told him my passion level was at 90% because I'm very into it, very devoted. By the time we moved on to year two and then he asked again, what is your passion level? And I said 70%. And then by the third year, he asked the same question. I say I'm now 250. And then by the last year, I mean, the only thing that I'm looking forward to is submitting the thesis and graduating out of it. So it took you like, it's a three years? Um, no, it was a four and a half year. Oh, wow. yeah. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't do it then. What? <laughs> oh no, you should. I mean, I mean, while I don't advocate, there are some people who are just naturally, you know, good at doing experiments, they are good at planning. So, I think you are one of those people. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay! How do you feel about my teaching and what are the areas I can improve on? 
Ah, uh-huh. um, I think a lot of my friends know that you're my favorite lecturer. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you. Yeah. You too. Um, I love how uh, you are able to teach complicated concepts in a much mm. simpler way. I was like, oh no, I hope my lecture is good. But actually, mm, I get like decent grades from thank your you, thank you. teaching. But the grades is not from me, it's from you. Yes, but I think sometimes a lecturer do play a part in like a student's like mm. learning journey. Okay, thank you. Yeah.